the way I think of time is like a continuum. And so the people that I have depicted in these works are us and we are them. My earliest memories are of looking at family photographs. My father was a self-taught photographer and we were always posing for pictures. And also my grandmother had an extensive collection of her relatives from South Carolina. I spent many, many hours looking through my grandmother's albums with her and she explained to me the life stories of each and every one of her relatives. It was quite a wonderful experience to hear about these people that I would never meet. It gave me an understanding of the people I choose to portray. At a certain point in my early career, I began to notice interesting connections between the objects in my house that were sitting next to artworks, paintings that I was making. I kept seeing these connections. And one day I picked up an object and I put it with the piece and it just electrified it took it to a, an entirely different place. At that time, I resisted the urge because I knew that it would be expensive. It would call for a lot of storage space. <laughs> and uh, so maybe a good four or five years later, I began working with the actual objects, combining them juxtaposing them with the, the drawn images. With my installation pieces, I want people to be drawn in by the imagery. I, I try to bring the viewer into another space so that they're no longer in the museum, they're no longer in a gallery space but they're immersed in that environment. So the ambiance, the lighting, the textures, the sounds, and the aromas are all very important. I, I've used whiskey, tobacco, you know, just, just things that have a, a smell to them. And, and, and so I want the viewer to be immersed in that ambiance and to be transformed into another place and time. Mm -hmm.